Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome to today's video. Today I have a character warehouse haul for you because I just can't help myself. Um, so I have really been watching Liz Lennon's videos here on YouTube and her kind of theme or her kind of niche for her channel is she uploads very regularly character warehouse updates. Now I know that that's something I've done on my channel bi-weekly or monthly and I still plan on doing that. I know that there are other YouTubers that do that aside from her. I definitely though that think, think that she is the most consistent and probably the most thorough. Her videos are very long. Um, so I like seeing her go almost every day and getting to see the new updates because I do not go that often. But I still go what I consider pretty frequently and spend what I think is a lot of money that I don't need to be spending, but I just can't help myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I got. Now this was over two trips, one to the Vineland location and the second to the international location. So I will specify what I got from which location. We're gonna go ahead and start off with this skirt here. This is from Pinup Girl Clothing. I showed you the back. Here is what the skirt looks like. It is for Christmas, so it is a white base with red, dark, and light green Harlequin print all throughout the skirt. It does have a zip up the back, and this was originally, let me turn that over for you, $98, and I got it for $28. So you just cannot beat that. That is a $70 savings. And this is going to be perfect for the holiday time that is going to come sooner rather than we think. Um, I'm going to also be including clips of these clothes on my body so you can see what they look like. So I'll show you what that looks like I now. I wore my crinoline under all of these just so it would provide that fullness. But this is what it does look like with the without the crinoline. So it still looks really cute. I just have it with a white tank top. I would probably pair it with something a little more festive but just for the sake of showing you what the skirt looks like on, there it is. And for 28 bucks, you cannot go wrong. I love it. And I think it has, it does have pockets. <laughs> love it. The second thing that I got from the international, I take that back, from the Vineland Character Warehouse, and these are the only two things that I got from there this time, was this Mickey dress and I remember talking to you guys about this dress and I remember showing this at the World of Disney at Disney Springs. I never got it when it was retail and then I felt so sad that I missed the opportunity but I was so excited to find it at the Character Warehouse. It does have a keyhole back like you can see. I did get this in an extra small. I did talk about in previous hauls that typically with Disney Parks merchandise I will get a small, even though my true size and other clothing brands is an extra small, just because I find that they run a little smaller, and I like especially t-shirts to just have a little baggier fit on me, but this was the only one that I saw on the floor anywhere, and it was an extra small, so that is what I got. It was originally $44.99, and I got it for $12.99, and I'll show you what that this looks is like here. This Mickey Mouse dress. It is... Um, just above knee length, so I think it's perfect for summer. This is what the back looks like. You can see that keyhole or open back detailing. Um, and it's very thin, but I don't think thin where you can see undergarments. Um, but very nice for the summer because it is hot. So I think that this will be nice and cool. All right, so next I have something for my husband for Christmas. And he doesn't watch my haul video, so that's good. It is this Kylo Ren vinyl bobblehead figurine, and he is on his TIE Fighter. So as you guys can see, it is a huge pop. It is a jumbo. The box is a little bit munched, but I figure I'm just actually going to pop it open, straighten it out, and then place it back in. It should not be a big deal. That is what the back looks like. It is very, very cool. And this guy was $14.99 on sale. So super happy about that. Everything else that I'm showing you this onward was from the international location. The violin location, I got the Christmas skirt and the Mickey Mouse dress and that's it. 
Next, from the international location, I did pick this up for our Toys for Tots um, Star Wars kind of bundle that we're gathering for this year. We're hoping to pick a young boy, and we've been gathering all kinds of Star Wars things for him. This was marketed at $14.99, but they were on sale for $3.99. So I got a little vinyl for him that I thought that would be fun to include a mystery item that he could open. Next thing that I got for my husband again as a stocking stuffer is the Ant-Man and Wasp Marvel pen. This was, let me check on my tag here. This was... does not say. It was free. No. I really don't see it on here. I don't know. I think that this was $3.99. I am not seeing this though on my receipt. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong thing, but I'm going to th guess that this was around $3.99 as well. Next thing I got for my husband was this tank top and it features Jack Skellington on the front and it's nice and white which is good because it's still hot in the Halloween time here in Florida and it says full of issues which is kind of funny um, I don't think that my husband is full of issues by any means but it just is kind of funny and this was originally $24.99 it was marked down to $9.99 nine dollars for a Disney top you just cannot beat that I don't think next up for my husband I also got these socks for him these are the 28 in Main socks that feature different characters in snapbacks so you can see Mickey, Jack Skellington, Mike Wazowski, Baymax, Stitch, Figment all over and it only not only includes the print on the front but it includes the print through the back as well. This is where your feet go, obviously, so um, you don't need the print on the bottom of your feet, but I like that they go up the back. And as you can see, these were $14.99, and we got them for $4.99. $10 off. Love it. The very last thing, nope, I lied, there's two more things, but really the main reason I went to the International Warehouse was because Liz videos. I saw that they had the American Girl Dapper Dress from the dress shop and I was super super excited because I actually, I mean I love every one of these dresses when I go to try them on in store but they typically range from $108 to $128 retail so unless it is one that I am head over heels I need to have it now. I really try to wait till I can find them at the character warehouse because $128 is a lot for a dress in my opinion. So this is what the front looks like. It goes down into an A-line skirt where you can see the fun Mickey print into the stars and then the bottom has the beautiful bordering. Now they have ears that match this as well. Hi honey! Hi. Do you want me to move so you can, or pause no, no, no. so you can? He just got home from work, so I'm sure he wants to change, and I film right in front of our bed and closet, so he can't get in there until I'm done. Um, they have a pair of Mickey ears that are Americana and have this print too, so now that I have this, I want to grab those ears so I have a full outfit. What's really fun too is on the back it says, an American girl, and it features this really fun tassel tie as a zip. So I really loved that, but my favorite part about this dress was the price. So as I said, it was originally $128. I, however, got it for $34. So, you know, $100 off, no big deal. I think that that is just the best thing ever. This is the American Girl Dress Shop dress. I love the ruffling on the front. I especially love the same print that, um, kind of like picnic style print that borders the bottom. This is what the back looks like. It is a cross back. You can see the American Girl embroidering and then the tassel tie. But I do have it on the shorter strap length. You can adjust it. I actually will probably adjust it back down to the longer strap length just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room on the top. But that's what's nice about this style is they do have that adjustable straps. So not all of them do. so. 
love this one as well. Um, and then the very last thing that I got was this little Cheshire Yufufi. I showed you guys a lot of Yufufis in my last character warehouse haul and they had out a couple new ones that I, excuse me, did not see the last time. This time was the Cheshire and he's got these sweet little ears. He smells like tea cookies, which I think is just adorable. Um, I normally am not a Cheshire cat fan. I actually sometimes find, depending on who the artist is that is rendering him, he can kind of look creepy. Um, but I think any of the Disney characters in this Yufufi style, because they're more pastel and they're rounded, they're just really sweet. So I really liked this. And these originally retail, I believe, for $6.99. And at the Character Warehouse, they're $2.99. So he does smell like tea cookies. He's so cute. But that is everything that I got from both the international and the Vineland locations of the outlets for this month. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you want to follow along to see what our experience actually shopping at the warehouse is like, check out yesterday's video because I did upload the tour yesterday. And if you would like to see more of these types of videos, I have an entire Character Warehouse playlist that will be linked down below, so you can binge watch that if you'd like. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are not already so you won't miss any of our Vlogoween videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!